Welcome back. We are here on e looking at the uh, Forex market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 29th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to follow us here on e where you also can copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index, then the Great British Pound and so on. So the US dollar index has rallied above the 200 moving average. And on Friday, we did break down, but the 200 moving average acted as support. So this is a fairly bullish shine. If we break below the 200 moving average again, then the 20 exponential moving average has offered quite a lot of support in the last month and a half, give or take. But the 200 moving average, we are uh, trading above the 200 moving average, and this is a fairly bullish shine. Technical indicators, they are not as bullish as they have been. Uh, stochastic is turning around, most likely will cross the signal line within the next uh, one or, uh, day or two. The CCI is also becoming bearish, the RSI is also becoming bearish, but the MACD is still bullish. But we have broken the 200 moving average, and we are still trading above it, and we got rejected when we tried to basically uh, cross over it on Friday. So let's look at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit. We went all the way down towards uh, 1365 before rallying towards the 50 moving average. We did not get all the way to the 50 moving average and it still looks like we are going to have a crossing here of the 20 and the 50 exponential uh, moving average. Technically, beginners, they are all turning around at this point. Stochastic is becoming bullish, the CCI is becoming bullish, and the RSI is becoming bullish. MACD is still underneath zero and is still far away from the signal line. So if we get rejected here, then we could drop back towards these previous lows. And if we rally above the 50 moving average, then we could head uh, towards uh, the uh, previous highs here of 13 uh, or 14 uh, zero, zero. So let's look at the uh, US dollar, Japanese yen. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly. We need to basically get the, uh, the full in Japan here. And you can see that we are getting fairly uh, close to the top of the bull in Japan in this uh, currency pair. Uh, when we do that, we usually pull back towards the middle of the bullish band. As you can see, that has offered a lot of support in the past, right here and here and here. And also when we drifted sideways here, we ran basically close to the middle of the bullish band and then we rallied to the upside. So we are definitely uh, in an uptrend at the, this current stage. We have broken the 200 moving average and trading well, be, um, well beyond that. We were in a massive downtrend for nearly a year and that has completely turned around and now we're looking basically at these previous highs back in in june and also back in in uh, april and february last year but we're getting quite over ahead of ourselves you can see that rsi is fairly high we're at the 75 so we are over bought at this current stage cci is bullish the stochastic is bullish and the macd is bullish but Getting close to the top of the bunch band, that usually is a warning sign that we, this will basically pull back. So let's look at the Euro US dollar. So Euro US dollar is looking even more and more bearish for every single day. We're trading well below the 200 moving average. We're most likely going to see a crossing of the 20 and the 200 moving average in the next few trading days, and that will increase the a selling pressure for this currency pair. Technically, indicators they are slowly turning around, but they're all in negative territory. So most likely a rally towards the 200 or 20 exponential that will be sold into at this point. We have been basically trading side. Um, uh, this has basically been in a downtrend for the last um, two months, and it doesn't look like there's any change in that direction. 50, 20 exponential, and probably also the 200 moving average will offer major resistance at this current stage. So the Aussie dollar, US dollar. So the Aussie dollar has rallied from the bottom here of the bullish band, and we are heading uh, towards, most likely heading towards the 20 exponential. That has been significant resistance in the past, and um, yes, it also looks like we are changing um, the trend in the yeah, Aussie dollar, US dollar. 
probably the main reason is that the appreciation of the U.S. dollar is uh, is uh, causing these uh, uh, currency pairs to uh, to basically well change direction. We have been in uh, the U.S. dollar was depreciating for nearly a year, and now it has completely turned around. But of course, that will have a major effect on most of these currency pairs. So technically, the they are turning around at this current stage. We did have a fairly bullish candlestick here on Friday, but most likely will be sold into when we get to the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average at 0.77. Uh, so give or take. We will most likely run into a major uh, support down here at the 200 moving average and probably have a bounce from there. But at this moment, it does seem like we are basically turning around here for the Aussie dollar, US dollar. So let's look at the USD Canadian dollar. So same thing here. We are still in this downtrend. It has not been broken yet, but it couldn't expect this to also break. Um, so at this current stage, the 50 moving average, 20 exponential have offered significant resistance in the past and has basically been a major resistant for nearly a year now, more than a year now. So rallies toward the 50 have been sold into. You can all see that the technical indicators, they are turning around. So it will most likely um, continue in the same pattern, rally up towards the 50 and then head back to the bullion, bottom of the bullion Japan and then rally again. So we see it here, here, here. It's basically a, just a continuation of what we have seen in the past. So uh, 50 moving average is trading at uh, 1265. Bottom of the bullish band will most likely be a significant support. That is at 1240. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to follow us here on Etro. Good luck and thank you very much.